Happy new comic book day, everybody. And hey, I got to tell you what, usually every week I'm looking forward to some stuff, but this week I've been looking forward to some stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty big uh, haul for me. Uh, two indie books, five Marvel books, and six DC books. So let's check out what I got. First and foremost, I definitely needed some extra stuff, so I have not ordered, you know, bags and boards lately, so I've been just kind of picking them up as I go at Heroes, and uh, I needed to pick up three extra ones, because I got a couple books at the house that uh, need bags and boards, so got three extras of those. Uh, also picked up the Marvel previews for the month of March. So I was able to pick that up, finally. I already have the DC Connect for March. So, yeah. And then I also got me a short box, too. A desperately needed short box. Because if you watched my previous video, talking about my goals, I go over my organization and stuff. And I have a video showing my, my short boxes and stuff. And I have books on top of boxes and stuff. So, yeah. Got me a short box. So with the shenanigans out of the way, let's get to the books for this week. Now, as usual, I like to start from the lowest to the highest in terms of publishers. So this week, like I said, two indie books, both of them actually being Image. Uh, so I picked up issue number two of Nightclub. Um, yeah, it was a good book. It was a good book. I mean, it wasn't great, mind-blowing or anything crazy like that, but it was enjoyable. Definitely enjoyable. Definitely worth picking up. And... That dollar ninety nine cover price, uh, you you can't you can't deny that, right? You can't say no to that, right? So, issue number two of Nightclub, or yeah, Nightclub, <laughs> uh, definitely a good book. And then issue number three of I Hate Fairyland. So I've been loving these cover Bs, obviously. So continuity, I'm all about it. So yeah, so the first two issues have been really fun. So I'm looking forward to this issue. And uh, yeah, so issue number three of I Hate Fairyland. Now, Marvel. Got five Marvel books. And uh, yeah. So the first one I picked up was uh, Immortal X-Men number 10, which is the second prelude to The Sins of Sinister, which starts next week. Uh, so this is the second prelude issue for that. And uh, I decided to go ahead and pick up this uh, classic homage variant. Uh, so, yeah, that, that looks good. Usually, I'm a cover A, just a main cover kind of person. But it it it, it really has to strike my liking <laughs> uh, for me to grab a, uh, a variant. So, yeah, that looks good. So, yeah, Immortal X-Men number 10, uh, the second prelude issue to sins of sinister and then also mm, yeah also punisher issue number nine so yeah this is about to go down with him and uh aries so i believe once this issue is over I, this is just speculation but i feel like this after this issue then we're going to start heading into that big battle with daredevil the fist versus the hand and all of that. So this has been great, man. This has been a great book. So yeah, Punisher issue number nine. And then another book that I've been really enjoying. Um, it was it was kind of like a slow burn, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I've been enjoying it for the from the beginning, but I, I it's been growing on me even more since the beginning. Anyway, Deadly Neighborhood Spider Man issue number four. It's definitely a different take on Spider-Man. But, uh, man, the artwork has always been phenomenal in here. And, uh, yeah, Delhi Neighborhood Spider-Man, issue number four. And then we also have Spider-Man The Lost Hunt, issue number three. That's a freaky-looking kind of cover, man. It's kind of it's kind of weird, man, <laughs> the artwork on it. But yeah, this has been this has been pretty good. 
I've, I've kind of honestly I've been kind of enjoying uh, neighbor uh, the Daily Neighborhood Spider-Man a little bit more, but definitely two good books, two good versions, different different takes on uh, Spider-Man. So yeah, I, Spider-Man, Spider-Man: The Lost Hunt, issue number three, and then uh, my favorite is uh deadpool so deadpool issue number three i came close to buying one of the variant covers but uh you know I, I i loved them or i liked them but i didn't fall in love with them so i was like you know what keep it simple like i said i'm a main cover kind of guy so cover a so deadly neighbor uh, wow deadpool <laughs> Issue number three. Now on to DC. So, six DC books. Not bad stuff. So, I uh, picked up Black Adam, issue number seven of 12. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm a bit behind on this series. So, I'm kind of thinking at this point, I might just wait. I mean, it's still got a couple months, obviously until the series until this ends but i'm kind of thinking of just collecting them and then uh just binge reading it because I'm, I'm i'm i've only read honestly i've only read like the first i don't know three issues maybe um but i don't know i might not wait i might just catch up i'm not too far behind i guess so yeah but anyway black adam number seven of 12 and then I also picked up Titans United Blood Pack, issue five of six. Now, this has been good. This has been really good. It's been enjoyable. I, I've been loving the artwork in this whole thing. So, yeah, Titans United. Only one more issue uh, after this. So, Titans United Blood Pack, issue uh, five of six. <laughs> and then... Batman Fortress issue number eight. It is the final issue of this run. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how this ends. There's a character in here that I just, I do not like at all. So, but anyway, Batman Fortress issue number eight, the final issue. And I also picked up, this is, this is, this has been the big book. Uh, one of the big books of the week is uh, Batman Superman World's Finest, issue number 11. So uh, we're we're going to figure out we're going to figure out who he really is. Apparently, he's uh, somebody that we've all known for decades. And uh, yeah, so that that's all going to be revealed in here in this issue. So I'm, I'm extremely curious and uh, excited to see how this this issue turns out. So, yeah the final issue of this arc so yeah this has been a really great book overall man so batman superman world's finest issue 11 and then we have lazarus planet assault on krypton it's a one shot i don't understand why they're doing the lazarus planet all of these as one shots they can't i, I don't i don't understand why they can't just make it like a issue one of six or whatever the case but yeah, that's how they're doing it. Lazarus Planet, uh, Assault on Krypton. Yeah, the second book. And I, but I do absolutely love that this is a weekly thing. That I absolutely love. So, boom, pick that up. And now this has been a great, great surprise. And I'm glad I jumped on on the last issue, on issue 790. But The Flash, issue 791, uh, part two of the One Minute War also something that i love is the fact that this is a two times a month issue now or a book now so yeah part one of the one minute war was just f phenomenal setting everything up and, and everything so i'm expecting in this book for things to really start rolling so yeah man i'm excited about this one minute war so the flash 791 so there you have it those are my books my haul for the week let me know what you guys think of my haul and uh man let me know what you got let me know in the comments 
And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited about these books this week. So with that being said, man, uh, check out my previous video, uh, my goals for 2023 uh, when it comes to comic collecting and stuff like that. So check that out. And uh, please, man, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out, check out the link below also in the description. Uh, it has the links to my Facebook page, my Instagram, and all that good stuff too. So with all that being said, enjoy new comic book day, man. It's, it's, it's the weekly Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side.